So here we go. It's the recurve gold medal match for the men. And in this one, once again, for the men, if you were expecting to see Olympic medalist Brady Ellison, Brady actually shot for bronze. Against and John Charles Valadon. Yep. Who was the Olympic silver medalist this year. So no slouch by any means. And John Charles got the better of him in a 6-4 match. But this match that we're looking at right here, Yi Dong Hyung on target number one from Korea, going for the gold. Now the interesting thing about the way world archery works, of course, when you come in to this arena here and you're shooting in the actual arena, you know you've got a medal. You've got a medal, but it's all about, let's talk about this archer right here. Oh, Jin yeah. It's not too bad. He's got an Olympic gold medal from uh, London, so he's a pretty good shooter. He is a pretty good shooter. And a super nice guy. I've known O for a while. He doesn't speak a lot of English, but we always have <clears throat> good kind of discussions with our hands and stuff, I guess you could say. A well-decorated you know, archer. Always got a smile on his face. He's just like a good, happy guy. Lives in Seoul, Korea. He started archery in 1992. Here we go. Starting off. This will set the tone for this match. And he's on the left side again. You saw the women. Uh, they shot on the left side to start too. So he starts out on the left side. Let's see if we get a left arrow here. Seconds. Nope. Nice release. That's dead center. Dead center. So maybe he got maybe he got a little bit of what was going on and figured it out, but his is a dead center to start with. Set scoring. Release is another one. So get he's dancing around those lines. Yep. He is hitting. It looks like he's hitting. From the honesty, it doesn't matter if you're in the middle or you're hitting, they're all the score the same. Uh, there's an open. Yep, there it is. I think we'll see in the, this match the, the little opens that will determine. Uh, both of these guys, O has a lot of experience, and so being out on the stage is not anything unfamiliar to him. Rio, you, know you bring that up. A great solid ten for O on that. Can you ever just go? Ah, there's no big deal. Like I've been in this stage before. No. It's always going to get to you, isn't it? Yeah, you, because as a competitor, you want to win everything. Yep. There's not one thing. You get to this level, you have to have that drive to be <laughs> here, or you're not doing the work. And so, and it's kind of a funny deal because you have to have something that makes you want to do better, and so you, you, it makes you nervous no matter what. I mean, I won three Vegases, and then just like I talked today, I walked out there and shot this morning, and it was like, Man, I was a little deep in the and it's like, it never gets over. It never gets old. I love it. That is a, a part of the sport I love. The, the anxiety, the nerves, everything like that. So, O was able to pick up that point, that extra 10 there. You saw that 9 with the asterisk in this lower left-hand part of your screen. That's going to indicate that there is a question, and the judges have to take a look at it. Now, keep in mind, folks, to get to this stage, if you're new to archery, this isn't your typical archery. You don't go to your range and shoot on a center stage like this, and you don't have minders down there checking score and pulling your arrows. So this is a different way to shoot when you get to the finals. Yeah. And and both these guys have been out there. We were talking about those in the Olympic Home Post. I mean, yeah. it's not something new to him. So, O, 30 inch draw length. He has a draw weight of 46 pounds if you're wondering about recurve and how much weight they're pulling back. Really yeah. important in recurve that you start out with a lower poundage and really find your form. And it's. I mean, look at this guy, 10, 10. I mean, there's no, like I said, I think the biggest part of this match will come to who gives a little chink in their miss or, you know, the open door, as per se, to give you that chance to win. Oh, with another one. So now these two are going after each other. I know he's yet to miss. Maybe hanging on the line, but. Another 10 for Yi Dong Hyung, who finished with the bronze medal World Cup final here in Las Vegas in 2016. So he's got the experience. Yep. You know, and he's 
You want a silver to World Cup stage, you know, an outdoor one. So it's not anything new to them. So now, again, yeah, oh, still clean. So we have 10, 10, 10. So now we're going to split a set. Like I said, that might have been even the cheat, the very first one that the little bit, the, the break in the armor to give him that chance to win this whole match. Yeah. You know, I mean, set systems can be interesting. And O's won a ton of matches. All right. There's no question. O has got a lot of experience on this stage. In world archery, Ojin Gyek, his air is arrow average over a two-year period is 8.9. And check this out, real. He's won 79 of 105 matches. That's 75%. And of tiebreakers he's been in, he's won two of five for 40%. Yeah, it's crazy. He is just... He made his international debut, of course, in 1999. He won that individual gold 2012 in the Olympic Games. He's also a bronze medal holder with the team in 2012. Yeah, he's, like I said, his resume is far as it's worth, so. Yes, definitely. Chess match, you can see that O leads three to one in set points. You don't know. With a solid ten. Ten. Like I said, it's hard to beat when you keep shooting him in the middle. Nine asterisks, of course, they're going to take a look at it when this end is over. Looks to us like it's a pretty solid 10. Yeah, it does on through the TV. It yeah. looks really good. And that's another close one. Yep, 9 10 that liner. Could be, that could be the door that opens, you know. Nine. Oh, there's, there's an opening from this, his side. And sometimes it gets a little more nerve wracking when. You know you've got the match in hand. And it just can Maybe lack of concentration a little bit. It's just, you start to know, oh my gosh, I could win this. Oh yeah, yeah, right. You know, it's the, the setting. Of, oh my gosh. And, and being perfect, he, you know, that makes it tougher. So a couple question marks in this set. Question marks right now in this set as to who's going to win it. Right now, the scoring as we see it is 29 to 28. Yeah. Which would tie things up. Yep, we get three sets apiece. This is sometimes in archery what happens. You gotta let the judges do their thing, and then we'll get the final word. You can see there in the middle, judge calling back the scores to the table. So it is. So it's it is going correct. to be. Yep. yep. It's going to be three, three. Yeah. He didn't get that arrow called in, so now we're all tied up. All tied and up. That was a gold medal. Just like I said, that was the little break that he got to get back in the match. I mean, it doesn't take much. Move. These guys are shooting as good as they are. Yeah. To get that. So lining up, Oh Jin Hyek from Korea, 35 years old, 79 match wins in his career. That's good. That's amazing. And I mean, it's not 140 like you, Rio, <laughs> but it's pretty solid. Well, and, it, and almost an 80% clip. I mean, that's oh, pretty yeah. good. Yeah, that's amazing. There they go. So starts off, a little smile on his yeah. face. He's applying the pressure now. The fellow Korean, Lee Dong Hyun. Oh, that's good a good shot. answer. Yep, that's a good answer. Definitely. That one was right down Main Street. And I said that's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> it's you know to come back and match him and, and do that. And he looks solid. Uh -huh. Oh, drains it right in the middle, just offset a little bit. He'll be happy with that one. Yeah. He you know, oh, a little bit of a miscue, just left it up top. Just like I said to you, Bruce, I should heard him in the crowd. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh yeah. the whole crowd kind of yeah. lit up on that one. Above. The archer's head is a huge screen that they can see themselves on when they decide. We've seen it before. So, oh, with a solid 10, comes out with a 30. No matter what Yi Dong Hoon does at this point, he's going to drop this one. It's going to take us five to three. Yep. 
and that'll, that puts a commanding lead. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a tough one because at five, you have to hope that he gives you that, and, and he hasn't given a lot of openings, oh, has it? Yeah. To give him that chance to get back into it. So, it's, it's a, like I said, it's a tough one. I don't care what he says. It's, this is the gold medal match yeah. that people wanted to see here yeah. the men's recurve final. You can see the crowd. It's, it's a big crowd. It's yeah. a huge crowd here. The Indoor Archery World Cup Final. This will determine the world champion for Indoor Archery. Well, the World Cup, Cup champion. Champ yep. World Cup champion for Indoor Archery. Walks away with a gold medal and gets and to pad money. that resume. And some money. Yeah. yeah. And with World Archery, equal pay for everyone. So these gold medal matches pay equal for it. Doesn't matter if it's recurve compound, men or women. Nope, all They're the all, same. All the same there's, amount. There's another little, little prize that you get that most people don't hear about. The winner gets entry fee and accommodations at every one of the World Cups this year. Absolutely. And so it's a, it's, it's a little bit on the line here. Yeah, it is definitely. You know, it's not an Olympic gold medal, but it's a pretty good little prize to have. And done on an incredible stage. Yep. And another title to your name. The great audience that's joining us live all around the world, plus all the archers and families that are here celebrating the 51st Vegas shoot. We're at the South Point Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are watching the set number five. Oh, well, there's, there's wow. the opening. All right, so here's the situation, folks. If Gi Dong Hyung can clean out, can clean out and he tie this up, it's going to be 5-5. Five, five. Rio, what happens next? Can you go to a one arrow closest to the dead side, <laughs> which is it's just a, it's a nerve wracker. Because let's be honest, set, I'm going to place it dead center is the hardest thing in the world uh, to say. You just got to hope your shot breaks at the right time. We are set right now for that. If O can nail that 10, so now the pressure is on Yi e Dong Hyun. But a 10 makes it all irrelevant. That's right. Because that gives him the set no matter what, and we will be at fives. Staying alive. Staying alive for a shoot off. This archer is fighting for his life. He's fighting for that gold medal. And this arrow is pretty much irrelevant. It's not. We will have a shot Didn't matter. I mean, he could have shot, he could have shot the... Uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He could have shot the dice on the side of the target or something. It just doesn't matter. Okay, so the shots are relevant in terms of set scoring. However, did you want to throw a 10 down there because you know your next shot has got to be closest to the center? Yeah, except for you're frustrated. Now. You knew you already missed one, and you're like, yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter as much. And so you're like, ah, let's just get it down there, and let's get ready for the next one. And sometimes I have, I won't lie. Tried to figure out what I could do to try and make it go more middle with that arrow. Mm -hmm. It kind of gives me, I, maybe I would call it an extra practice arrow, you could say. Yeah. But. And folks, look, if you're at home and you shoot and you're training in archery, this is a great example of if you're at your local club, find someone that you can try shoot offs with. Put yourself in this situation because. If you get to a stage like this and you've never done a shoot-off, this is not the place you want to learn it. You want yeah. to practice it back at home. Now, we're headed for a shoot-off here. This is for the gold medal at the Indoor Archery World Cup Finals here for men's recurve archery. The closest single arrow to the center will take home gold. Yeah, and the other little thing that I have seen happen, you're supposed to shoot the middle target. Oh, is that right? Yes, Okay. middle target. Yep. So if you shoot the top or the bottom, yeah. it's a zero. There you go. So that's something you have to know. And you you got to be thinking in your brain, yep. middle, middle right now. Yep. Middle, middle. The crowd had their say. They were chanting yep. and stomping and cheering. So here we go. Looks like O's going to start us off. Well, because he was the higher ranked archer coming in, he chose to shoot first, which leads back to the shoot off. He needs to shoot first now. Deep breath. Trying to hold as steady as possible. He gets hit in the 10 ring, but the door is definitely open. That's a four, four centimeter circle. So it looks like he's a good three and a half centimeter. Oh, and he gets it. Just outside, so that means the gold medal will go to O. Oh, yeah. So Ogin Hyuk will take home the Indoor Archery World Cup gold medal and silver to Gi Dong Hyung. So the 35-year-old out of Seoul, Korea. Continues that to his resume. What an amazing career. Taking his match wins to 80. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, it takes his tiebreakers. He's now got three tiebreakers of six. That takes him to a solid 50%. So congratulations yeah. on the gold medal. Oh, Jin Hyuk from Korea. So that's two down, yeah. and we have two more to go. 
and on the docket is something coming up very exciting i would say as always as always we're going to have an international compound women's gold final as we take a look at some of these fantastic shots being captured by our crew of these archers trying to go for gold and you can see the camaraderie in archery yeah Here we talk about it you know oh not standing there by himself that was a great match a great final for the gold that this crowd got to witness.